grammar, present perfect simple, and present perfect progressive. That's me as a teacher. I taught a hundred students last year. Taught is the past of teach. I've been teaching English since 1424. I've, I have been teaching English since 1424. I've taught thousands of students so far. In purple is what we call the past simple. In orange is the present perfect progressive. P, P, P. Present perfect progressive. In blue is the present perfect simple. What is the difference between the three and when do we use them? When do we use this? When do we use this? And when do we use this? That is the important part. We use past simple for actions for things that happened in the past and finished, completed in the past and the time they finished is mentioned. When did you teach a hundred of students? I did it last year we know the time it finished two days ago three weeks ago with present perfect progressive something started in the past it started in 1424 and it continues up till now up till today it is the same here with present perfect simple something started in the past and it continues up till now but what is the difference between the two? The duration here is what is important. Duration is the amount of years, amount of hours, the number of hours or years. What is important here is the result. Because I've been teaching for many years, the result of that is that I've taught thousands of students. Do you get it? To make a sentence in the present perfect progressive, you use has with he, she, and it. You can say he has been teaching verb plus ing. To make it shorter, you can say he's been, he's, she's been. You use I, you, we, and they with have. You can say you've, I've, we've been teaching. Use these time expressions with present perfect progressive for, since, what is the difference between for and since? You use for with the number of years. Amount of time. You can say, I've been teaching English for 15 years. For 15 years. 15 is a number of years. Use since with the point of time. When did it start? It started in 1424. Since 5 o'clock. Since Saturday. If you say 5 hours, you use 4. If you say 5 o'clock, you use since. You use how long, all day, all my life, all year long. With present perfect simple, you also can use since and for. You can say, I've taught thousands of students since 1424. It is correct to say that. But we still use present perfect simple because actually the result, thousands of students, is what is important. You can use just, which means not long ago. I have just eaten my food, means not long time ago. Always, before, ever, never, yet. What's the meaning of yet? It's the same as already. The only difference is that we use yet with negative sentences and questions. I say, I haven't eaten my food yet. Or questions, have you eaten your food yet? We use already with affirmative, positive sentences. 
I have eaten my food already. So already and yet are the same. Already with positive, yet with negative or questions. Once, which means one time, twice, many times, three times, recently, which means not long ago. With past simple, you used last night, last year, yesterday, two days ago. Now look. This old man says, I've taught students for 30 years. Now I'm retired. Why hasn't he used present perfect progressive? The duration here is important. 30 years of service. Well, the reason is, what's he doing now? Is he still a teacher? No, he's retired. He stopped teaching. Now look at this mom. She says, I've loved you all my life. All my life. All. All day. All my life. All year long. Why is she using present perfect simple? The reason is, she is using a state of verb. If you forgot what state of verbs are, please watch Unit 1 Grammar. Love hate verbs of preference and emotions are all state of verbs we use them in the simple form we don't add ing to them have you been playing with my phone okay why is she using present perfect progressive here why again in unit one we learned that if we express annoyance we are not happy with something we can use the progressive form I can say you're always leaving your stuff in my room you're always leaving ing with always why because I'm actually annoyed by this to express annoyance again you can use progressive forms so to sum things up the summary you use past simple for things that happened in the past in a specific time, use present perfect progressive for things that started in the past and continues up to the present, even if they stopped, maybe they stopped not long time ago. Like what? Like you see somebody studying for a test and you tell him, stop studying, there is no test tomorrow. And he says, what? I've been studying all day. Well, now he stopped. He He's not studying anymore, but he's been doing it all day long. He stopped not long time ago. You can use present perfect progressive. The duration is important here. Or to express annoyance from a recent action. You're not happy with somebody's action. Use present perfect simple for things that happened in the past and the time is not mentioned. I have eaten my food already. When did it happen? I didn't say. Or the results are obvious now. You have broken the window. It happened not long time ago. The window is still broken. I say you have broken the window for things that started happening in the past and continues up to the present and the action the result is what is important just like when i say i've taught thousands of students so far that started in the past and it's still happening but the action the result is what is important okay now has been and has gone very easy. Khalid has been to America and Adil has gone to America. Where is Khalid now? He's wearing the Saudi uniform. He is in Saudi Arabia now, but in the past he has been to America before. Where is Adil now? Look at him. He's wearing a suit. He's still there. He hasn't returned. Now he's in America, he has gone. Let me give you another example. Now, I'm home. I see my brother and I ask him, 
where have you been? And he tells me, I've been to the supermarket. That means he wasn't here a moment ago, and now he has come back from the supermarket. But when I call my brother, where are you? And he tells me, I've gone to the supermarket. That means he is still there. He is at the supermarket. He is not home. Do you get it? Okay. Now practice. Read the dialogues and complete the blanks with the present perfect simple, present perfect progressive, or the past simple of the verbs in brackets. I finally get to see, I finally can see your new flat. Flat is a British word. Americans say apartment. I so curious. Curious means I wanted to know something. To see what it's like. What should we use here? I was so curious or I have been so curious. The time is not mentioned, so don't use past simple. Be is a stative verb, so we will use present perfect simple. I have been. Well, it's a mess. It's not tidy at the moment because I'm having it redecorated. I'm changing the decor. Make it nicer. The decorators, people who do the decor, work in here since 7 this morning. It started 7 and they are still working. Use PPP. Have been working. It's quiet now. Not so much noise because they stop to take a tea break. Oh, they stopped, but they've stopped not long time ago. Still, use present perfect progressive. Okay, stop to take a break. We don't have a specific time. The duration, duration is not mentioned. Use present perfect simple. This is a great area to live in. Did you know that I look for a place to buy for the last six months? It started six months ago and it's still going on. It's still happening. PPP. My landlord, the owner of my building, of my apartment, tried to sell a studio in this block. A block is an area that is surrounded by four streets. This is one block. This is another block. In each block, you can find many buildings. Since last summer, again, started in the past, the landlord is still trying to sell a studio. PPP. Yes, I know. I already see it advertised. Okay, it happened in the past and it finished. We have the word C. C is a stative verb. Use present perfect simple. Have already seen. I am definitely interested in it. Great. I'd love to have you as a neighbor. Neighbor, noji. Neighbor is someone who lives not far away from you. Would you like me to give you his phone number? That's okay. I write it down. When I, that's okay. That means I have it. Don't give it to me. With when, we use past simple. With while, use past progressive. I don't know if you remember that. I wrote it down when I saw the advert, the advertisement in the paper. Paper means newspaper. Do you get it why we wrote the verb right in the past simple because we have when two actions happened in the past we use when we use past simple if we have while we use past progressive and we have a specific time when did this happen do we have a specific time just like last year yes we wrote this when we saw the ad so this is the time the specific time when did you see the ad when i wrote it down they both happened together we have a specific time in the past we know the time it happened 
Is that your phone ringing? Yes, and it just might be my landlord. He called me all week. We have all week. All week. PPP. He started doing it in the past and he is still doing it to ask me about how the decorators are coming along. This village is really one of my favorite places. I can see why I can understand. It's just beautiful. I can't believe I not be here before. Be is a stative verb use present perfect simple. I haven't been. Okay, been. Is this present perfect progressive? No. If you look here, been is the past participle of be. So this actually is present perfect simple. The past participle of be is been. So you say, I haven't been here before. You discovered it recently. Have you? discovered it recently recently present perfect simple oh no i come here for more than 20 years again it started 20 years ago and i'm still doing it i have been coming here my father first used bring me when i was only eight this is the first time it happened when did it happen it happened when I was only eight. With when, use past simple. And we have a specific time. I was only eight. You know, although, in spite of the fact that it's just a few kilometers out of town, you feel like you are in a different country. Yes, you are right. Let me show you something. Can you see that sign over there? There is a piece of land for sale. For the past few months, I think of buying it. For the past few months, it's been going in my mind. PPP. I've been thinking. Maybe I could build a house. What do you think? Now, look at the verb think. It's a stative verb. But again, we explained this. If you use think like believe, I think you are the best student, then it is a stative verb because think means believe. I believe you are the best student. But if you use think as consider, I am considering this. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I will not. Then it is not a stative verb. You can add ing to it. What do you think? That's a wonderful idea. Is it expensive? Well, I not call the owner yet, with yet, present perfect simple, I haven't done that, but whatever it costs, it's definitely worth it, it's not a waste of money, it deserves every penny, every real, I never be anywhere, again, be is a stative verb, I have never been, and we have before, before present perfect simple, pleasant, so nice. I have never been to a place so nice before. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.